Hi, I'm Helen Lane, co-founder of Vibe Health. Welcome to our channel. Today, I want to share with you three tips to help you stick to those New Year's resolutions. There's a big theme out there right now, New Year, New Year. You've probably seen it everywhere. It's a little bit done. A lot of people start a new year with great intentions to lead a healthier life. So everything is about the new year, new you. And maybe you've embraced this concept and you've decided to start 2019 with some major health overhaul. Now, obviously at Vibe Health, being health coaches, we are experts in a health overhaul. So I thought I'd just share our two pennies. With a mindset where you're open to opportunities, where motivation is gonna be at its fullest, and you're excited and you want to embrace that energy if you like, then New Year's is an amazing time to start a health journey. It's an amazing time to make changes in your life. But, there is a but, because a lot of people, they get that surge of motivation, that surge of energy, they're super excited, they think this time is going to be different, and then they start this epic journey of making huge changes in their life. Three weeks down the line, <laughs> that motivation is fizzling out. The chocolate seems way more tempting than it did at the beginning of the month. And then they kind of fall off track and kind of end up slipping back into old habits and ending up right back where they started. So why is that? Well, <laughs> so one of the reasons most people fail when they go to make these changes is that they almost try to take on too much too fast. You know when you really want something, you really want to lose weight or you really want to have smoking hot abs or you really want to not be at risk of serious health issues like diabetes, you know, any of these motivating factors. When we want those big results so bad, we kind of think, right, I'm going to change as much as possible, as fast as possible so that I can get there. But what happens when we do that is we end up setting ourselves up to fail because there are so many more places where we can screw up, right? Like we are setting ourselves up to fail or to at least feel like we're failing because there's so much pressure. And what we do is we create all these rules, these should and shouldn'ts around what we should have, what we should be eating, what we shouldn't be eating, what exercise we should be doing and all this kind of stuff. And all these rules, when we break them, which we do, because naturally we're human and we're not rigid and no one sticks to something 100%, 100% of the time. Um, so we do make mistakes, <laughs> or we do fall off track. And what happens is when we have all these rules is that uh, when we break them, we'll, we feel bad. We feel like a failure and that is super demotivating. And then you get into that cycle of punishment of like, well, I've screwed up now, so I may as well eat the whole tub of biscuits <laughs> and then the chocolate and then the ice cream and everything else that comes after. Um, and you kind of set yourself up for an almighty binge or a major falling off track. And then normally the guilt, the shame, that then leaves us feeling unworthy of the result that we really wanted in the first place. So how can you make a change this new year and make it stick? Well, the first thing is to do it little steps at a time. What we love to say at Vibe Health is small hinges swing big doors. You can make really small changes over time that create the most incredible results. So don't try to take on too much too fast, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Another tip to make your New Year's resolutions or your New Year beginning stick is to dig a little deeper into why you want those changes. Make it mean something. So it might be, let's say you wanted to lose weight. So I want to lose weight. Why do I want to lose weight? Like, why is that important to me? Because I want to have a slim physique and feel really good in my clothes. Okay, so what would feeling really in good in my clothes give me? Like, how's that going to make my life better? Mm, 
I will have confidence and self-esteem and when I walk around, I can walk with my head held high and I'll feel really good about myself. Okay, so why do I want to experience that? Oh, I don't know, because then maybe I might make connections with people on a deeper level because I'll feel sure about myself so I might actually put myself out there a little bit more. Can you see what I mean? So it's about digging deeper into why you want that change because that deep reason is what's going to make motivate you when you're being swayed towards making choices that aren't in alignment with where you want to be. So understanding why this is so important to you, like that deep reason is kind of key to keep that motivation going beyond that three week point. That seems to be the point three, four weeks, and then it's like straight back to old habits. So my third tip today for sticking with your New Year's resolutions is to find an accountability partner. Somebody who's going to support you, somebody who is already experiencing what you want to experience. So imagine your New Year's, your New Year's resolution is to go to the gym or to regularly exercise. You need to find a partner. You need to find someone who's already going to the gym or it might be some kind of personal trainer, some kind of coach who can uh, who you have to show up for, um, but some kind of partner, but it's got to be someone who already goes regularly, who doesn't quit, who always shows up, <laughs> so that when you don't show up, they still will be there expecting you. It's almost like you show up because they're expecting you to show up. That's how an accountability partner is awesome when making changes like this. Another option is, of course, a health coach. <laughs> and I'm not just saying that because that's what I do, but I think a lot of people don't think of it as an option. And actually, that's exactly what we're designed for. Um, it's exactly what we do. We take someone from where they are to where they want to be in a sustainable, long-visioned um, way that is fun and actually works. <laughs> so um, that's obviously another alternative and if that's something you'd like to explore check out our website vibehealth.co.uk or contact us on instagram uh, or via email all our links are in our bio so you can get in touch at any time and a happy new year to you guys from vibe health bye